What's up, everybody? Here we go. We are in an F-15C model, and we are going up against Iranian F-5 variants. They're called the Hesa Kalsars. I've got a video I did on that. Anyway, we're going to go up against those, slay them beyond visual range as much as we can. There's six of them out there. So we're going to try to take out all six beyond visual range, but we'll see how that goes. We've got AMRAMs loaded up. We're in the F-15C. I flew the F-15E in combat, and I flew the F-16 Thunderbirds, essentially the Blue Angels of the Air Force. I flew those bad boys for almost three years. I'm a combat fighter pilot. The C model is not the exact variant I flew, but that'll make it even more fun. That'll make it more of a challenge. I flew the E model, which is a dark gray variant of this one, but this one's like a specific air-to-air -air model. And it's essentially like you're getting a radar up to altitude. So check it out. Here we go. Here are these like ridiculously boisterous F-5s from Iran thinking that they're just going to come in and attack me. Little old me. I'm just in my F-15C just hanging out. <laughs> Alone and unafraid. I'm like a pit bull though. You better watch out, F-5s. All right. So we are in a mode now that is just scanning the whole airspace. Hey guys, quick break from the video to tell you about this Apple Vision Pro. I partnered with a veteran-owned company to bring this to you. So click the link in the description right now. You'll be taken to a site where you'll order a custom-made collectible. And that is a limited edition collectible. And then you'll be automatically entered to win this Apple Vision Pro. It's only for a limited time. This contest is going to end very soon. So click the link in the description this can be yours. This very one right here that I'm going to be using in flight videos. All right, now back to slaying these Iranian F5s like they're little baby seals. <laughs> the thing about the radar scope is you really have to tune in and it's like you're getting this expensive radar up to altitude. That's why this whole jet exists. That's why these engines are actually able to fly an afterburner is literally just to get this expensive radar up to altitude. Got eight AMRAMs on board, as you can see. And it's game time now because we're getting into the crosshairs here. So I'm going to go back to my BVR mode, which is beyond visual range mode. And now we're getting close to where I can start locking these things up. Now I want to get fast. So yeah, we're approaching 450 bills. And again, just getting in there on the radar. Ah, man, it's like, it's like an art form actually being able to lock things up here. So I'm going to call track wall scan, that TWS there. And now you can see there's little numbers above these aircraft. So the radar is basically saying, this is what we're going to target first. Dying here. Things like this can happen too in the jet. All right, so we got six of them there. Now I'll start getting some AMRAMs off the rails. So they're out there in front of us, basically at our 12 o'clock, at about 20 miles, so we can't really see them yet with our eyes. Yeah, not yet. All right, but we've got AMRAMs loaded up and ready. They're approaching the 20 mile mark. This is when I'm like, hey, you picked on the wrong dude. I'm up here alone and unafraid in my F-15C. One F-15C versus six of these F-5s. Got the AMRAMs ready to go. Let's uh, send him a little message. Here we go. All right, they're starting to maneuver, so winner, winner, AMRAM dinner. Here we go. There we go. AMRAM away. I'm going to scroll, scroll down on my scope. All right, it lost track there. All right. I don't see him outside quite yet. They should be at the 12 o'clock position, about 15 nautical miles. Boom, there goes an AMRAM as well. Okay, I'm starting to see them and make them out up ahead. Next one. See if this one comes off the rail next. Boom. <laughs> That's just fun to watch. It's like a massive telephone pole coming off of your aircraft. All right, now look outside at this wall of them in front of me. You can see the radar is already determined which one the AMRAMs are going towards. So now I'm just getting as many off the rails as I can because the radar has sorted out the number of which ones are getting AMRAMs. So I'm just firing these things off as fast as I can right now. There we go. That one's going to that guy. Boom. That one's going to that guy. 
A lot of splashes out there. I see one left 11 o'clock. I'm going to throw another one out there. Just pit bull trying to take that out. Okay, I see this jet off to my left. Look at him shooting at me. You son of a... You mess with the wrong dude, bro. You mess with the wrong guy. You mess with the bull, you get the horns, dude. And that's what's about to happen to you right now. So now I'm coming out of air-to-air -air mode. I'm going into what's called a combat boresight mode. There we go. I still got eyes on him. But again... All right, now I'm flaring. Chaffing and flaring. Dang, one of these things sneaked by you, and this is what can happen. Because they've got heaters and guns. Ah, I lost him in the sky. And we're getting kind of slow. Where is he? This is when you just want to start turning, making sure. So I think there's just one left right now. I'm just flaring right now. Left Dang engine it. fire. Ugh. Right engine fire. Ugh, man. All right, he got me on that one. It's going to happen to the best of us. I got to run this challenge back again, but I'm still going to post this video because I got to maintain the fact that I'm believable, that I may get shot here and there once <laughs> guys don't forget go to the link in the description right now click on it it'll take you to a site where you can buy a limited edition collectible and you'll automatically be entered to win this apple vision pro it only lasts for a limited time the date where it ends is right on the site there you could have this very apple vision pro in your house right now i'm a little jealous <laughs> I'll be making some videos with it coming up here soon. And stay tuned for part two of Iranian F5s. It's going to be great.